Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be discussing all about rapid breathing business. Look at the graph. Please subscribe to my channel. If you can get 1% that would be great. Smash the like button. Hope we can get 10 likes in this video. Please do that. I'll be giving you the tips and the startups of having a successful guppy breathing business. So first of all, I am a guppy breather. I've been a guppy breather for five years. So most of these tips and strategies are for live bearers. Live bearers are those who That will be my focus. Some of the live bearers are swordfish, guppies, lattes, and today we're gonna be doing basics. This is the male, this is the female. The difference between the two is their anal gland. The anal fin of the male is sharper while the anal gland of the female is wider. So this is the difference. First of all, you need to do this first. So before you actually buy your fish, I suggest you buy a tank. Depends on you and your strategy of how you're gonna be raising your guppies. Most of all are at least two feet wide. Those are suitable for breeding and if you don't want that one, if you're into tubs, I suggest you get a tub that at least a meter wide. So I will be dividing these sections and each section will be another different video. This one is for only the complete basics. First of all, for you to raise your guppies properly is for you to have decent water. So for you to have decent water, the best one is if you have a well. The second best is the tap water. So for you to benefit for your tap water and to be suitable for your live bearers is to at least cycle it for at least a week. What is cycling? Basically, you fill your container with water and then every three days If you already have a guppy tank that is used, get at least one cup of it and pour it to the new one This will be for those who have a filter If you don't have a filter, suggest Let's say you already finished with acclimating your containers. The second one is to have plants. Some people don't have any sunlight. I really suggest you have sunlight, but if you can, daylight bulbs will be decent as well. If you don't have the money, then just don't have plants because if you have plants but no sunlight, it will die. It will increase the carbon intake of the fish and it will completely kill your fish eventually so the steps for you to get the perfect fish is for you to look at its shape So guppies have wider shape. I suggest you get high pectoral fins, a high fin, and at least some of the decent straight features. Please check out its spine as well. Make sure it's not crooked. This is the a design of a non-crooked guppy. And this is one who is crooked. So the reason why you need to have this genetic guppy is for you to breed it and it won't have any issues for your babies and for some of the smaller ones. You can choose either having three females and one male, two females and one male, pair or just male and female is the one female for two males. You don't want to have more than two males for one female because when it is pregnant it has to endure a lot of stress and males will constantly harass the females so you don't want that to happen or else the female fish will die. Next one is feeds. There's a lot of feeds but if you're in the Philippines PO1 or PO2 are the best. You can get it from Pacifica. They're really really cheap. suggest you get the bulk of it and make sure you don't put it near the sunlight as it will get moldy faster. 
the rule of thumb is for you to have at least four to three feeds per day in small increments you can tell whether you're overfeeding or you're underfeeding your fish if it's underfed constantly chases you it's completely clean and obviously your fish will be severely malnourished if you're underfeeding it so that's about it about the basics i will give you more advanced tips in the next series i hope you guys enjoy this video and goodbye